Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions recently about radiator fans not operating or not coming on or when you push the AC button nothing happens. Um, so you want to start with the basics. Radiator fan fuse here. Radiator fan switch down here. First thing you do is disconnect it. Engine off. Take your test light. Make sure that the test light works. Attach it to negative. One of these three wires should have power. Okay, that one doesn't. This one does. This one doesn't. If this fuse is no good, even if it looks good, it could have bad contacts here. If, if there's bad contacts, electricity can't go through the fuse, through the connector, down to the radiator fan switch. If you have power here at the connector, take a metal paper clip and you touch your power to one of the other pins and you should get low speed. If you touch the power wire to the third pin, nothing will happen. Or, okay, sorry. In this case, it does happen. Usually, high speed goes through the fan control module. This one doesn't have a fan control module because it doesn't have AC. You learn something new every day. So, in this case, High and low are controlled strictly by the fan switch. So if you have AC and you bridge power to the third wire, nothing happens unless you turn the key on. So in this case here, this is actually low speed here. And then this way is high speed. Okay, so if you, if you have power and you don't get anything when touching these two, it could be that the fan is, the fans are bad. Could, it could also be wiring. So then you have to check at the fan connector. Disconnect the connector at the fan and apply power directly to the, to the fan harness plug. If nothing happens, replace the fan. If you get low speed but no high speed, it's a fan issue. If you get high speed but no low speed, it's a fan issue. Replace the fan. If, if jumping directly to the fan harness plug, everything works, then you have wiring problems. And I can't solve wiring problems with my keyboard, so that's where it comes, where you have to do your own troubleshooting. When you click the sensor back in over the connector, make sure it clicks into place. You don't want it coming off while driving. <laughs> 